when you're staying with the breath, it's like trying to cross a river. You've got a current that's running in the direction you don't want to go. It's going to, if you go along with the current, it just washes you down to the whirlpools and the waterfalls. That's the, the Buddha's image. In other words, if you just go along with the currents of your mind, you end up with the same old suffering you've had before. You've got to swim against the current. That takes effort. Some people complain, I thought this was a path to the end of suffering. Why does it involve so much effort? Well, there takes, it takes a certain amount of effort to get across the stream. If you don't do that, it's just going in line with your old defilements. It's easy for the, while, for the time being, but then you end up in trouble. So you do have to fight. You do have to make an effort to go across the stream. You've got the raft that's going to help you across. Finally, you get to a point where your your feet touch bottom, and you know you're safe. From that point on, it's just a matter of walking up out of the river and up, up onto the other bank. At that point, that's when it's easy. That's when you're beginning to realize that all that effort you put into it was more than worth it. Because the freedom that comes from not having to be under the influence of all these currents it's a really important kind of freedom. So as you're saying here with the breath, remember you're fighting some pretty strong currents. The currents that push you out in terms of greed, aversion, delusion. Currents going to the past, currents going to the future. And because you've given in to the currents for so long, it, that seems to be the easy way. But then you end up with the suffering that comes as a result. That's why you're here, to find something that doesn't make you suffer, find a happiness that doesn't lead to pain in the end. So even though it may take some effort to keep coming back, coming back, coming back to the breath, it's worth it. Each time you come back, you learn a little bit about the mind. You're strengthening your mindfulness, you're strengthening your alertness. So it's important you not get discouraged as you find the mind being swept away, swept away by some of its old currents. You learn how to recognize them. And so the next time they come, you know, this is not where I want to go. And ultimately, your ability to hang on to the raft gets stronger and stronger. And it's the raft that gets you across. So hold on tight to that. Everyone talks about the end of the raft story, that once you're on the other shore, that you let the raft go. But while you're swimming across, you need the raft to keep you buoyant, to keep you on top of the water so you don't sink. And hold on to that as, as best you can. So hold on to the breath. Hold on to your determination to stay with the breath and to understand things, and not get carried away by the currents that would push you in another direction. <laughs>